Capture and secure the objectives. What's going on guys, I'm Viking Actual and in today's video we're going to be talking about MW2022. So I did a review on the beta and I told you guys that I didn't like the beta. I didn't like the, the Core 6v6, I thought the maps were terrible. Um, the only one that I really liked at the time was the um, uh, Las Almas map. And to be fair, I still like it. Um, but things have definitely changed so first let's talk about multiplayer because i feel like that is the most important aspect of call of duty now then we can talk about campaign and then we can talk about special operations i played the multiplayer now compared to the beta let me tell you that it is a much much better experience than i had in the beta i don't know if sbmm was toned down drastically or just a little bit but i'm having a lot more fun um in the beta it was just insane the amount of sweats that i was getting in a match and i was not going negative per se but well i was going negative in some games but for the most part i was doing just fine um and now i feel like i'm doing a lot better like literally a lot better I'm having more fun, I can run around, I don't have to be all tactical and stuff, I don't have to just sit in the corner looking down an alleyway like in MW 2019 for example, like I don't have to do that. I can run around like in Cold War, I can you know, do all these crazy things that I wouldn't even dare in MW 2019 because that map was just, I mean that, that game was just insane for 6v6, the core multiplayer was just cooked, it was garbage. Um, I understand a lot of people don't like some of the maps because, well, let's be honest, it's skill-based matchmaking. Uh, the way the maps play varies a lot on the skill-based matchmaking. So, for instance, I really do like this the bridge map. The reason I like it is because I'm able to run around, I'm able to take it slow, I'm able to flank. And people cannot do that in higher skill based matchmaking tiers because people are more aware, right? People are more aware of where you're coming from, where you're going, things like that. So, like I said, I don't know if skill based matchmaking is toned down for me because this is definitely not the game that I would be playing in the beta. Like, let me tell you, the beta was just insane. Um, so, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if it's toned down. And I understand where the frustrations are coming from from people who don't like this map because they say that this is just really difficult to play in this map like they really can't i understand it a lot of people are playing dumb like they can't understand why someone wouldn't enjoy this map like i get it it's a small constrained map on at least the width of the map is kind of constrained it's only one lane and it's very difficult when you're opponents are high skilled players i get it um but for me i like most of the maps there's only one map that i don't like and it has a weird name it starts with a q i can't tell you which one it is off the top of my head but i do like it overall the multiplayer for me is a very enjoyable experience i'm able to do all these movements that I used to do back in in the old OG days of Call of Duty which is run around you know shooting at people like that that's literally what the game is I understand Infinity War is trying to make this a tactical shooter and it's not and it will never be like I said I said that in the beta review and I'm still to that like it's just never gonna be a tactical shooter either you go full tactical or you go casual arcade shooter and this is like a mix of both so sometimes you just have to take it really slow sometimes you can run around like crazy and that's really the most enjoyable part for me is just running around so um i'm able to do that here that's really all i wanted um i really enjoy the multiplayer i will be honest with you guys it reminds me a lot of the old Call of Duty days and I know some people are probably going to get triggered by that but I don't care it's just my opinion and that's it. 
Uh, you, you are entitled to have your own opinion. I like the multiplayer. If I were to rate it, I would say it is a solid... Uh, damn. I was going to say 8 out of, out of 10, but... You know what? I'm just going to go with 8 out of 10. Honestly, it's just a really fun experience for me, in my opinion. Moving on to the campaign. This is, for me, the one of the most important aspects of any Call of Duty game is the campaign. I understand a lot of people don't even play the campaign, but I do. I love playing the campaign because it gives the game a backstory. It lets me know what's happening in the game, why things are important, why this faction is important, what each player did in the campaign, who they are, their personality, and all of that. So... Thankfully, we got to play a week earlier because otherwise the campaign would have had to wait. Um, but I did play the campaign earlier, about a week, and I really, really liked it. Um, just off the bat, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I understand a lot of people felt like it was mm, very predictable, and I understand those concerns but those concerns are coming from people who played the original mw2 which i also played um i knew what who was going to be i guess the antagonist of the story but like honestly who cares like i really enjoyed the plot i enjoyed the characters i enjoyed the journey that they went through to get to where they are now uh, compared to where they were at the beginning of the game it's a very good story. If you've played MW2, the original, you probably know what it's about, what's going to happen. And that's okay. Like, it's just a different version of that story. Um, I really like the, the characters. I like the personality uh, of each character. If you guys remember back to the original MW2, the characters didn't really have a personality they were just a military person right like that is their entire personality that's who they were that's how they behaved that's how they talked um and this one it's different each character has their own personality uh each character has has their their quirks the way they speak the way they behave you know their experiences are different things that they are thinking about or wondering everything is just very different from each other because that's how the real life works right people think differently so um it is a really fun thing for me to see how they gave these characters personalities without ruining the characters that we all know and love i was a little scared with how they were going to treat ghost because um in MW 2019, he was just—I don't I, like—he was just weird to me. Like I—I I didn't understand where he fit in the entire team. It was just weird. Um, so I'm glad to see how he fits into the team, what he does, who he is, how he behaves, you know, his mindset, all of that. So I really liked him. I really liked Soap as well, which I was a little scared again how they were gonna do him. Um, at the beginning of the story, I was like, oh my god, they ruined soap. But at, by the end of the story, I absolutely fell in love with uh, soap. And he's by far now, I believe, my favorite character in the story. So, um, I like I said, I like the way they gave them personality without ruining the character. At least in my opinion. So, that's the campaign. I liked all of it honestly i just i really am excited to see if they do uh more stories to this because i know that there has been a leak that they were gonna do like dlc for this uh in terms of campaign i'm excited to see how that goes i hope it it retains the that you know that feeling because it is a really good feeling um playing through that campaign and you know seeing all the things happening in that campaign so i am excited to to continue playing through that story uh through that plot to see where things end but moving on to the special operations so i played to 
of the three available missions of special operations and i will say that i do like them um surprisingly enough they're very simple they're very straightforward they're just do this do that go here go there and that's pretty much it and that's fine like i i was not expecting anything insane or some crazy open world masterpiece like gta 7 or something like that like i was not expecting anything like that um i was just expecting spec ops to be very similar to to mw2 to mw3 or something like that but it's not that either it's just different um so you have some objectives and you go do your objectives you go plant the bomb and um things like that um could it have been better i think it could have uh, but it's fine like it's just special operations i don't like the way they ex explain things like oh this is a two-man team and you know for reasons that happen so it's just two of you like it's just <laughs> it doesn't even make sense honestly like you should have at least made it three or four people uh, but i understand they I, I don't know they weren't trying to make it too difficult so they just thought two people was okay which I'm not upset about, but I don't like the explanation of it's just two people. Like, it's just, it doesn't make sense. Um, that's all I'm saying. Uh, I did play two. I completed one, but I played two. Uh, the one that I completed was, I believe, I don't remember what it's called, but it's in a big desert map. And you drive around, you go plant these bombs on these anti-air missiles. And that's your objective. Once you do all of that, you just go away and that's it. You finish the, the, the mission. It was very simple, very straightforward. I liked it. Uh, I don't think it has any replay value at all. But, you know, for the first time playing it, I thought it was really good. Or not really good, but good enough to where I enjoyed it. The next mission I played was um one where you're using night vision it's a stealth mission of course your teammates don't know what stealth means so they just go off and they die and i die and we all die and that mission will never get completed because people don't know how to play stealthily so yeah like there's just no way i'm gonna complete that mission unless i play with somebody who's also you know trying to be stealthy but i tried three times with three different people or strangers or randoms and uh yeah they 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 have no idea what they're doing so i'm just not gonna play that one i really wanted to complete that one because you do get a cool operator with it um but that's fine like honestly i just eh, who cares um overall i believe spec ops to be a little lackluster i know they're going to update it so i hope it turns out well but honestly, it just, it's, it's just not there. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, why even have that mode? If you're just going to have like three little missions, you just might as well not even have it there. Um, you know what would have been better though? If Spec Ops had just been like campaign missions, but co-op. I don't know. That just sounds a lot better to me. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, I guess. That's fine, but mm, Spec Ops is just not that interesting. It I don't understand like how MW2 had like I don't know above twenty Spec Ops missions, and then MW3 as well, and then after that they just kind of didn't care about Spec Ops at all. So um, it is what it is. Spec Ops, I give it a three out of ten because though it is playable and it's there i just don't see any replay value in it whatsoever like honestly once you finish those three i believe you're probably not gonna touch it ever again um the stealth one is cool but like i said people don't know how to play stealthily and there's armored enemies like the campaign if you played the campaign you know which ones i'm talking about like they're just annoying like it's a stealth mission and you have to deal with that so i don't know man i didn't like it i'm just gonna give it a three out of ten 
and call it a day so overall the entire game if i were to rate it i would say it's a solid 7 out of 10 or yeah 7 out of 10 i really like the campaign i really like the multiplayer um and i do not like spec ops but spec ops is such a minuscule part of the game but it's something that was hyped up a little bit so ah even 7 out of 10 feels kind of low uh how about 7.5 out of 10 um yeah i think that's a very valid rating um 7 7.5 out of 10 that's what i'm gonna go with uh hopefully you guys like it as well uh let me know any thoughts comments opinions that you might have anything you disagree with anything you agree with anything you think i forgot to mention um anything that you want to get off your chest because i know people are opinionated and we all have opinions and i am actually interested to hear yours because i know everybody is experiencing this game differently because of skill-based matchmaking and you all have very valid concerns um i know some people who are on the lower spectrum of skill-based matchmaking like skill-based matchmaking i personally don't even though i'm having fun with the game i don't like it i feel very manipulated like i'm being played like i'm not the one playing the game like i'm the one being played i just don't like that feeling i like experiencing things for myself learning from my own mistakes things like that so um i don't like skill-based matchmaking especially not in, in this form that activision is doing where it's mainly to hold players uh, where they will man manipulate your games where you have a couple good ones and then a couple bad ones and then a couple good ones i don't like that so anything you wanted to add please feel free to do so down in the comments but that's it for me thank you all so much for watching leave a like comment subscribe and i will see you all next time if you stick around